Hello, friends, and welcome to the Manifest International course on the gospel is the power. This course is so exciting to me because the gospel has truly changed my life. Uh, I had been in church for several years before I actually heard teaching that fully expressed what living in the power of the gospel actually is, what Jesus truly accomplished for us on the cross, and why that is so significant in our daily lives. Um, I hadn't heard teaching like this before, and so now that the Lord has had me put together a course on it, I'm just so excited to share it with you so that you too can walk in the fullness of God and the freedom that the gospel gives us, and really even understanding what that freedom is. Um, so just to give you a quick uh, recap or, or idea of what the course is going to be about. It is seven units, which are broken down into separate points. Um, in unit one, we're going to understand the biblical uh, version of the gospel and understand that this is a story uh, of God's people, Israel, that is already in progress. And so there are lots of different ways that the gospel is proclaimed today, but there's also a way that the Bible proclaims the gospel and that Jesus proclaimed the gospel. And it's a story that's already in motion. So we're going to jump in and learn about that story and where the gospel is really coming from and why it is good news. Uh, unit two, we'll get into that the gospel is the power. Well, power for what? Power for salvation, deliverance, healing, sustenance, and freedom from every enemy and oppressor. Um, it, the gospel gives us every blessing of God, access to God for our welfare, for our prosperity, for our victory. All of the blessings of God are made available to us through the sacrifice of Jesus and his resurrection which is the gospel. The gospel is the power for salvation for everyone who believes. The word of the cross is the power. That's unit three. We're going to take an in-depth look at Isaiah 53. That's a, a wonderful chapter from the Old Testament that describes the work of the Messiah and his suffering and his death and then his resurrection to eternal life and how he turns and then intercedes for those who are in transgression so that we can have right righteousness, the righteousness of God as a free gift because of his sacrifice. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. To us who believe the word of the cross is the power of God. Hallelujah. In unit four, we'll learn how the gospel gives us power to live life as a new creation, to live a new life. If you're already walking with Jesus, you know that you are different than you were before. If you're listening and you're not yet walking with Jesus, the gospel will change your life. If you are under oppression or, or demonic oppression, or if you have depression, God can set you free from all of that. And by his Holy Spirit, he will lead you in a new life. He will lead you in new ways. He will lead you into the life that has always been in your heart, but you have never been actually able to attain it. Uh, it is unavailable to you unless you have faith in Jesus and allow his Holy Spirit to do his work in your life. So the gospel gives us power for life and godliness. Amen. Unit five will understand, and I'm so excited about unit five because we're going to dig into how the gospel gives us us power against the powers. Well, what are the powers? Well, in this world, and until Jesus returns to take us into the world to come, there are forces or powers or authorities that rule this world. The whole world, according to the scripture, is under the power of the evil one. But there are other delegated authorities and powers that we are subject to as we live in this world, unless we have revelation and understand and are walking in the freedom that the gospel gives us. So in unit five, we're going to get into what exactly those powers are and when mankind became subject to them, and then how Jesus set us free from all of those powers and helps us never to be enslaved to them again. Amen. And that goes right into unit six. The gospel gives us power to stand. So we stand in the freedom that Jesus gives us, the gospel gives us, and we we will take a fresh look at the armor of God. Again, a biblical look at the armor of God. It is not based on uh, Roman accoutrement or Roman soldiers. It is actually has its, its root in the biblical story and several prophetic passages. That's what Paul was uh, driving from when he talked about the armor of God. So we're just going to take a fresh 
fresh look at the armor of God and how the how the gospel gives us power to stand in that armor and the righteousness of God so that we never become enslaved to the powers that the gospel has set us free from ever again. Uh, and then in Unit 7, we will learn how the gospel also gives us power to destroy. We destroy every objection that tries to throw us off of our course, that tries to get us out of the knowledge of God, out of the truth, out of the narrow and difficult way of following Jesus, out into something that is not of God. The gospel gives us power to destroy and demolish all of those arguments and every objection to the truth of the word of Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. It's going to be a great course, and I'm so glad that you are all here uh, today and listening. Um, For a quick reference, the links to this study guide are available on your podcast provider or the YouTube description, wherever you get your podcast from. uh, There'll be a description there. The link for the free study guide can be found right there. The study guide is available free of charge. We really recommend downloading the study guide because this course is going to get into some really in-depth material. And there may be times when you even need to pause the audio and take a look at the study guide just to kind of take a breather and look at what the scripture really says. Or you might want to just pause and read through the scriptures for yourself. Uh, There might be times when in the audio portion, I'm breezing through scriptures. And I'll tell you, take a look at the study guides. The The scriptures are there for you. So you can take a look when when they're there. Uh, The study guide just gives a little bit more detail sometimes than we're going to go into in the audio portion. But we've put that together. We've tried to make it as easy as possible for you to go as deep as you want to go with God in this course and through this course. Uh, So please, you know, use the links, find the link, find that study guide, download it. Uh, You can use it on your computer, print it out, however it works best for you. But just make sure you get your hands on it. And then I also ask for your grace as we enter into this podcast. This is the first podcast that we are recording, and I am more used to preaching all over the world with nothing but the Holy Spirit and my Bible, uh, sometimes in places that are sophisticated, but a lot of times in places that are not, you know, and just in the middle of nowhere. So the study guide is a new format for me, so I just ask for your grace for me as I kind of find my flow in in following along on a study guide. Uh, I love love the Word of God so much. I'm hoping the study guide will help me, uh, pr- help prevent me from going on tangents that just to keep us focused on the topic at hand and make it orderly. You know, God is a God of order. And so the study guide has been laid out with a deliberate order that we're not leaving anything out and that everything is getting its due place uh, in in the, our study of this subject. Um, and so instead of jumping around, uh, it, the study guide will help keep us on track, both you and me. So I just ask Ask for your grace as we enter into this uh, adventure together, and the Lord will guide us. So I just pray that you're blessed as you download those study guides. If you are affiliated with Manifest International, you'll see that the gospel is the power is in uh, the gold color. And that means that this is one of our Manifest International approach courses. What does approach mean? Approach means that this is the way we, guess what, approach life. We don't just talk about scriptures. We don't just quote scriptures. I love the Word of God, but the Word of God is not just to be read. It is to be lived. And anyone who knows me, you know that uh, I live <laughs> the, the the approach of Manifest International. If you want to take a look at that, it's uh, manifestinternational.com slash approach, and you'll get a good understanding of how the Lord has asked me to literally live my life for the past many, many, years, uh, but the Lord has been so faithful to me. So this course was put together to give a better understanding of our approach. This is Manifest International's statement of faith. Our statement of faith uh, is from Romans 1, 16 to 17. It is, for I am not ashamed of the gospel, for the gospel is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Gentile. For in the gospel, the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the righteous shall live 
by faith. Hallelujah. So we live by faith in every aspect of our lives. For those of you who know me, you know the Lord asked me to give away everything I own many years ago and live by nothing but faith and prayer and obedience to his voice, not asking anyone for anything I need, just trusting God and obeying his voice, believing God, believing that the gospel is the power for everything that I need. And so uh, Manifest International, we add something onto uh, that statement of faith, which is we believe that Jesus is sufficient for everything that we need, both temporally and eternally. We set our hearts to trust Him, relying on the power of God rather than the wisdom of man or the ways of this world for all that we need. Hallelujah. And friend, if you do that, you will start to see God move in your life in supernatural ways. When you start really trusting that God is who He says He is, that Jesus is who He says He is, that Jesus did what He says He did, did and what the Bible says that he did, you will start to see that the wisdom of this world is absolutely foolish in the sight of God. And you will see that your life starts to look pretty foolish to other people, but God gets a lot of glory because he does things just differently than this world. His ways are higher than our ways. Amen. So I'm so glad you're here, friends, and I just welcome you again to the course on The Gospel is the Power. We're going to have a great time, and let me just say a quick word of prayer as we enter into this course. Hallelujah. So, Father, we do come before you in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for every participant that is here and listening within the sound of my voice. Father, I do ask that you give them fresh revelation, that you release to them the spirit of wisdom and revelation as they grow in their knowledge of you. Father, give them comprehension of the finished work of Jesus. And Lord, even as they listen to this course, set them free from all wrong thinking, from false doctrine, from worldly influences from any slavery to the powers that they might be subject to in their lives. Father, set them free so that they can live and walk and and move with you in the fullness of your spirit, and then also understand how to destroy the powers of wickedness that are fighting against them in their lives, that they might live by the freedom and the fullness in the power of the gospel. And I pray this in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus Christ. Be blessed, friends. We're so glad that you're here.